Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial, setting up the Yahoo Store floating shopping cart. Please note that this tutorial is for Yahoo Store owners that are using the basic Yahoo Store 3.0. This is not for store owners who have custom Yahoo Store templates or who are using Yahoo Store 2.0. We're in the back end of One Choice for Frogs and we're going to go ahead and click on Floating Cart Manager. And underneath the global settings, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and show that mini cart. And that's going to show the item count and the order subtotal. And under mini cart label, I'm going to go ahead and change this to your shopping cart. Um, the basket, I don't really like that <laughs> terminology. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to your shopping cart. Um, now what we want to do is put on our floating cart settings. And basically what we can do is we can go ahead and show the floating cart or we can hide it. And for this particular instance, I'd like to go ahead and show it. And we can only show the floating cart when a buyer actually adds an item to their cart. And I'm going to go ahead and do that as well because I don't want to confuse our customers when they come to their site. Remember, uh, the rule of a website is always to keep it as simple as possible. So next we want to put in an add to cart action. When they add something to the cart, do we want to open up the floating cart or do we want to take the customer to checkout? Now, this really depends on your store and what you sell and how your customers um, really act within your store. If you're usually only selling one item and you really, really want to keep it as simple as possible, then just go ahead and click on Take Customers to Check Out. But if you have the type of store where people are adding multiple items and it's constantly adding multiple items, then what you may want to do is go ahead and just put on Open Floating Cart. And that way they can see that the item has been added to their cart, but they don't go to checkout. Um, if you're not really sure which one to do, test 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 that's what we're always telling you right test 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 now here's the other thing about the um, add to cart action if you choose that okay remember they're not gonna be taken out to check out it's just gonna show them that they do have that floating cart and then they'll be given an option if they want to check out or not so it could get a little confusing again test what you want to do but we're gonna make this as simple as possible right now so we're gonna go ahead and choose take customer to check out now in this area we've got custom content area and basically what that is is you can insert custom content in the floating shopping cart you can use this for special promotions or cross sales or um, even like important information that you want your customers to to know about um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to enter in a little bit of information here so that way you can go ahead and see what happens and maybe what we're going to do is put in use coupon code ABC for 10% off Oop, off your order all right now the next part says shipping calculator do you want to show or hide the shipping calculator I definitely recommend using the shipping calculator if you don't offer free shipping let your customers figure out what the shipping is that way they can understand exactly what they're getting because not knowing the shipping price can make or break your sales and that's one thing if they can't find the shipping if they don't understand the shipping that could lose you a sale and we want to make sure that you're getting more sales so go ahead and show that if you don't offer free shipping all right so here's another area where we've got the coupon code section you can show or hide this um, another thing you can do is coupon code field label your coupon code what you could do in coupon code message is if the people see the coupon and you to choose to show this what could happen is that people could say oh well I don't have a coupon and then they could go search for a coupon and that could lose you the sale if they don't find one for your store and they find one for another store so what we recommend is putting in something here that maybe says use coupon code ABC for 10% off your order like maybe we used here and we want to show that here in the coupon area once again just so they know that that's there um, or, you know we'll definitely look at it the custom content area 
Um, or what you may want to do is put a little link here that says see all current offers um, because that's something that you may want to do. So we're going to do see all current offers. Alright, and let's go ahead and do home and we're going to do a href and we're going to put in the full URL for that see current offers. So one choice for oops, frogs dot com slash current offers. I got a little bit too much in here so I gotta take that out of there because you're only allowed a hundred characters so but that's okay because once we just put see current offers that's gonna take care of that. Alright now the free shipping offer again you want to do that and you put in enable and then you go ahead and put in the shipping method which is ground and required order amount for free shipping. Now if you're not ordering if you don't have free shipping up uh, past a certain order amount, I highly recommend you start using it immediately, especially if you're going to put in the floating cart. This is a great way to increase your sales. Now, if you're thinking, gee, I can't do this because you know the products, add five bucks to the price of your items and make sure you put in the free shipping. Trust me, you'll get the money back in sales. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in, let's say, $100 and message add more to order to qualify for the free shipping. And then congratulations. You can change this if you like. We're just going to go ahead and leave it. So now let's click on save and preview and that will allow us to look and see how our floating shopping cart is going to look within our store. And as you can see it's right up here and it shows your shopping cart. And if we click on that we see that our shopping cart is empty. Okay. We also see add $100 more to your order to qualify for free ground shipping. And we also see use coupon code ABC for 10% off your order. Now remember here, we put coupon promotion code. And your coupon code, the shipping calculator allows them shipping. And then we have the coupon code um, where they can choose the see current offers. Now this is where I was saying that you might want to add that use coupon code ABC for 10% off your order. You may want to put that up here um, again because maybe they're not going to see that down here. And notice right here it says add $100 more to order uh, to qualify for free ground five to seven day shipping. So as you can see this is just very basic. We put it in our store um, and then that's it. So that's what we're going to cover today. Just the very very very, 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 very basics. All right. My next video is going to show you how to really customize this floating cart to make it match your store. So join me for video two <laughs> where we show you how to do that.